everyone. Welcome to another Something Bad Thursday. And today I thought it'd be interesting to rant a little bit about um, annoying things that popular YouTubers do. Um, and I think these are bad because I think they're, they don't really offer something uh, that I think is really, you know, good as far as artistic is concerned or um, or create any kind of creativity I just think they're just designed to just lar largely in part gain viewership and is not really concerned about you know content uh, so these are the kinds of things that I think really bother me and I think are just kind of bad um, as far as just how um, obnoxious they are and how I think they're they're bad as far as as far as quality is concerned um, now I'm not saying all popular youtubers do these kinds of things but I've noticed that there's this consistent sort of pattern that usually when you see someone really big that ends up making it onto YouTube sometimes not all the time but sometimes you see these very you know, the, you just see these patterns of how the popular ones try to, you know, kind of mimic each other and then they end up doing these similar things. And I think ultimately these things come off to me as more of an annoyance and a bother rather than, oh wow, that was actually really creative and that was actually really interesting, wow. Uh, so I, I thought I would go through the ones that are, um, that uh, these techniques in particular that really do bother and sort of frustrate me um, and uh, sort of explain why I think they're just bad <laughs> um, and uh, and this is nothing to say about the popular youtubers as people I'm just discussing purely content level nothing to do with um, what they do outside of YouTube or who they are as people this just has to do with their content their work um there is something that i have noticed that is existent existed probably um since youtube started getting fairly large um and uh fairly significant over the years and that is the constant yelling um it, it seems like the only way to get people's attention nowadays is to yell. And I mean yell in every single video. Like just yell on the top of your lungs, scream constantly. You know, it's it's like that they, they are screaming to the audience, please give me attention, please give me attention. And I'm just like, how, how, how can anybody watch this? How can anybody stay invested in this? Like this it makes, no sense whatsoever um and i really honestly find it to 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 be a bother to me um now yelling can have a purpose it can have a significance to it uh i think the nostalgia critic is a perfect example of this because although he does yell on occasion and although he does get fairly angry there's sort of a reasoning behind it and at the same time it is backed up by good writing um, whereas with a lot of popular YouTube channels, I've noticed that, you know, they yell for the sake of yelling. Like, they just, yeah, brr, yeah, blah, blah, blah. and I'm just like, whoa, whoa, calm down here. <laughs> like, what's going on? Like, it, it makes no sense. Um, there's no cleverness to it. There's no, um insight you know it's just yelling for the sake of yelling and i really it just i just can't take it it's just like you know they they, they feel like that they have this n need to just yell at you and to be honest i just don't think as an audience member that appeals to me all the time when someone's yelling at me um when someone's just constantly in my face just screaming i mean I really don't understand why this this is so popular among younger kids. Um, you know, sometimes, I mean, sometimes the yelling, too, is just, like, maybe in, like, a squeaky voice, you know, or, or you know, they, they do, like, really, 
or they just talk really, really unbelievably fast and just, they, they feel like they need to be on a constant, like, adrenaline, like, just, woo! <laughs> and I always want to just be like, calm down. It's okay. Just, just, just. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't get it. I, I really think that they should just tone it down. You don't need to constantly yell. And it's, and it's, and, and I, when I mean constantly, I almost mean in every single video. They're just like yelling constantly on the top of their lungs, just like, ah, da, 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 da. and to me, it just sounds like, it, it, it just feels very t childish. I mean, it doesn't feel, it, it, it's just, it just doesn't resemble anything of intelligence. Um, not to say that it's, you know, the chill children act like this all the time but it, it's a very sort of childish behavior I feel this this resort and need to constantly yell like constantly feel the need to just scream on the top of their lungs I don't get it I don't get why um why it gravitates towards so many people but I think it's largely done for the sake of attention like you know, the the, the 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 louder that you scream, you know, the more, you know, viewership you get, so to speak. Um, but I find it annoying. Like, I can't, I can't take it. I think it's so bad. I think it's a, it's, it doesn't encourage any form of creativity. Um, and, you know, it's, it's just done for the sake of attention, you know, just yelling, just ranting and raving constantly, you know, and feeling the need to scream constantly. I, I mean, I I understand, you know, that there are things that can bother you, but at the same time, you know, to constantly have that energy be forced upon you in every single video is just, it just doesn't appeal to me. And I think it's just, it just sends a bad message. It just sends the only way you can get attention is, is just by yelling and by screaming around and acting like a child, like, I just don't, I just don't understand, um, like a, like a very spoiled child, you know, why do that? Um, I don't get it, but there's a lot of, a lot of popular channels that tend to do that. Trying to be funny. I have encountered this several times, um, and as Yoda says, do there is no try and um i think it's one of those things where i feel like that there's a lot of youtubers out there who are supposed to be famous for being funny and i don't personally find them all that funny um you know or i'll laugh once in a while but it's it's not like you know it's not, it's not like something where i actually you know they're there doesn't seem to be a whole lot of intelligence behind the humor. And, you know, they'll just try to reference things, you know, that are popular. Like, oh, Justin Bieber, let me reference that person, you know, because I, cause that's what's going to get me the views, you know. I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's sort of done all for the sake of, again, attention and not paying attention to sort of the... Um, sort of the the craft or, or or you know or creativity behind making videos um it's 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 purely just designed for attention and just to you know just to get a rise out of out of people um and to have them pay attention to you and to be honest i just think that i've seen it more so often than not that I think a lot of YouTubers, you know, they they try um, to be funny, but a lot of the time I think the comedy falls really flat, um, largely in part because, you know, they'll, they'll reference things that, you know, the, again, you know, things that are popular, they'll try to, you know, do things um, like they'll, you know, they'll... Uh, They'll try to do things bad and then claim that, you know, I'm doing it in a bad way, so therefore it's funny. 
Um, you know, it just, just it, it, a lot of it is really just cheap. I don't feel like it's, I just don't think it's good. I mean, it just doesn't, it doesn't have that same amount of effort and, um, weight as far as comedy is concerned, uh, especially when I look at, you know, other kinds of programming, um, where there's a lot more laughs to be had, I feel, um, largely so more, largely more with, like, adult cartoons, in particular, even with some YouTube cartoons, um, even some that are fairly popular, and again, some, uh, some, uh, popular channels on YouTube are funny, I'm not saying all of them are, but there is this tendency, I think, for a lot of the ones to be popular to not try and not put any effort, uh, into the comedy, uh, aspect that they're trying to bring out in their videos because it's 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 not like you know they're you know they're it's not like that they're trying to be serious uh like me because I know I can't do comedy I I I, I need someone to bounce off of otherwise I I fail at comedy I can't do it um but I, I or I need that you know I need something within my mind to construct and use from in order to produce comedy. I can't purely just go up and say something funny. Um, but I think there is this tendency for the for popular YouTube channels to try to be funny. And um, oftentimes I think the comedy falls fairly flat. And also I think, again, a lot of the comedy too is fairly repetitive. Like they'll make very similar jokes, you know, they'll uh, make similar, you know, innuendos, references, you know, things like that. So, again, there's not a whole lot of variety. Um, but there are some popular channels that do, that are genuinely funny, I feel. It's just, I think a lot of the popular ones that I've seen uh, over the years have really, I think, not been all that funny. Um, now, the next one, it involves... The speed of the editing process. Now, I know if you are more of a professional on YouTube, if you're not like me, who just does this in my spare time and because I just enjoy doing it, um, I understand that there needs to be editing. And I understand that there needs to be some kind of, you know, professionalism to it and you have to have a high-tech camera and blah, 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 and whatever lighting and whatnot. If you're making a professional thing out of YouTube. Um, I understand that. And I understand editing needs to be involved. But for some reason, I think there's a tendency for a lot of really popular YouTube channels to constantly feel they need to edit out every single maybe paragraph or sentence. I mean, there's just so many edits. Just so, so many edits. Like, it's like you're talking and then a duh. And then there's another edit, and then there's another edit, and there's another edit. And I think it's not really necessarily done for the sake of, you know, because I keep messing up all the time. It's done for the sake of attention. Like, I just want to get attention out of people. Um, so let me do all these clever edits, and I'll sound like Shatner, you know? <laughs> I just... It just sound it just looks so goofy to me. I mean, I and it's distracting because I I can't absorb. My brain will just not let me take this constant need to do me 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 me. And I think it might be an, a generational thing too. I think a lot of younger kids, you know, they they like the yelling. They like the adrenaline brrr, constantly, you know, flinging everything in your face. But to me, I'm just kind of like slow down take it easy, <laughs> just, you know, just, 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 just slow down, just, just, there's no need for you to constantly edit, I understand if you are changing scenes, and if you're moving on maybe to another topic or something like that, but the constant need to do ba-da-da-da-ba-da, ba 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 da ba da and blah, 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 like, you know, the, the constant need to go bam, 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 um, 
I feel is just it it it, it just comes off as annoying to me. Like, I just, uh, it just, I, I just don't find it engaging to watch. Um, I, I, I become less engaged um, if there's more editing, especially when the editing I feel is really not necessary. I mean, but I think it's done again for the sake of building that attention and building, you know, what's popular among people rather than, you know, just making a YouTube video completely straight, even if you do mess up, <laughs> which is what I do. I mean, I don't feel the need to constantly edit and I don't have the time to edit everything either. So I, I, I just think that, you know, the, the overuse um, is just there and it just bothers me. It just doesn't, it just comes off so staged it's it and that's I think too that that's another thing that sort of bothers me is is just how how it just feels so fake it feels artificial what this person's saying it's like this person is reading off a script it's not like he's actually saying it from his own words um so I, I think that's probably just another thing that just sort of you know bothers me um but it's just you know just the boo boo doo 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 is just ugh just too much too much for me and I think it's bad because I think it's mostly done for the sake of attention um same reason for trying to be funny and same reason for the constant yelling um a lot of youtubers in particular fairly popular ones I've noticed um feel the need to cuss in every single sentence now, again, I try to limit my cussing, although, again, on occasion, you know, sometimes I will drop a bomb once in a while. But as far as cussing goes, saying it in every sentence doesn't make your point somehow more valid. Um, and I think the reason why a lot of YouTubers, in particular popular ones, do this is because it sounds provocative it gets people going. Ooh, oh, it's, it's, I'm appealing to this current generation who feels the constant need to cuss. And I honestly think that, you know, we shouldn't feel the need to constantly drop F, F bombs. I mean, I'm all for free speech, but at the same time, you know, the, 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 the way in which I think people use these words are for the sake of just building that attention and getting a uh, viewership instead of, you know, really saying something that's deep and that has meaning, you know, I mean, and again, there's, there, I'm not against the idea of cussing, but there's a tendency for, in particular, fairly popular YouTubers to use it in every single god damn sentence. You don't need to use it in every sentence. Maybe in every paragraph or maybe in every page of material that you say, but there is no reason to say it in every single sentence. In every single phrase that you put out there. I mean, it, it doesn't serve a purpose. It doesn't serve a meaning. You're just ranting. You're not getting your point across more by dropping an F-bomb. Um, I understand if there's things that, you know, frustrate you, you know, and you want to get it out maybe in more of a ranting way, and that may involve some cussing, but at the same time, there's some people who just, you know, they're, they're just randomly talking and then they just drop F-bombs like blah, 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 blah. Like it's, you know, like, yeah, this is how I casually talk with people. And it's just, it's just weird. It, I just don't understand it. Um, I don't see the point in constantly feeling the need to drop it. I mean, I drop it once in a while, you know, I'm, and, I pr and I'm proud when I do. But I don't feel the need to say it in every single, single sentence. And to me, it just frustrates me because I think it is done to, you know, be cool, to be hip. You know, just to drop a F-bomb. You know, it's like, I'm being hip, I'm being cool, I'm being, 
you know, with the teenagers who constantly drop those words constantly. And to be honest, I don't feel the need or the necessity to use uh, certain words in certain circumstances, especially when, you know, you're just you're just talking about something random, you know, it's like a random thing and then you're just dropping all of these f bombs it's like why why do you feel the need to constantly use them doesn't make you any more talented just because you drop an f bomb um so uh yeah that's that's really all i think i can say about that one um The last one, the last big annoyance that I think is bad and frustrates me to no end is the loud music that they play in a lot of YouTube videos. Like, they will play it loud. Like, they will just... They will just... It's like that. It's just a boom of, of sound. Um... And this sort of goes, too, with the yelling and, you know, the trying to be funny by, you know, putting in, you know, this really, you know, hip music, you know, and just being loud and obnoxious. And somehow people think that's funny. But to me, that's just, uh, I just don't, I just don't get it. It just annoys me. It makes me want to cover my head and not hear the sounds and noises anymore. It's just too much. Um... It just gets too, uh, um, it just gets too annoying, uh, it, and, and, and it's, and again, it's all done for the sake of, pay attention to me, pay attention to me, you know, you can just tell, like, it's all designed on just, pay attention, pay attention, you know, um, look at this loud music because you want to. Uh, and I say to myself, no, 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 I don't really want to. Please, just, just, just have it nice leveled of sound. You don't need to blast it. You know, you don't need to bombard with music as like just. Um, you know, you don't need to make it like all Inception, like. <laughs> You know, um, and that, that's what I feel like a lot of the popular channels tend to do. They'll they'll make really, really obnoxiously loud uh, music, all for the sake of, you know, just gaining viewership and gaining uh, subscribers. Um, but yeah, those are really the, the major annoyances that I have um, when it comes to... Uh, these uh, popular YouTube channels. Now, I'm not saying that these don't exist in maybe le these kinds of things don't exist in less popular YouTube channels, but as far as from what I can tell, it seems like these popular YouTube channels tend to follow this sort of similar annoyance pattern. Uh, for me, and uh, and those these things sort of ex these sort of annoyances that I have that I have explained are what exist in these sort of popular channels. Not all of them. There are a good, good, good number of exceptions. There's tons of channels, particular popular ones on YouTube. But as far as anything else goes, as far there are still these kinds of things that I think end up coming up in a lot of the channels that are fairly popular and have a lot of viewership. And to be honest, I don't think they're a good, uh, I just don't think they're good things to have within a YouTube video. I think they're, they're bad and they bother me and I don't think they're, they, they say anything about, you know, how good of quality videos there are. And I'm not saying that my channel is, is beyond means perfect. Um, and I know there's some things that I do that may bother people, but I mean, at the end of the day, uh, I think we all have our different, uh, ideas of what, of what we, um, consider, I guess, art. 
And uh, these kinds of patterns that I've noticed, I think, are just ones that in particular bother me. I'm sure there's people that have different things that bother them or different, you know, understandings of what a YouTube channel should be. Um, but as far as everything else is concerned, you know, I just think that, um, uh, I just think that, you know, there, there are just parts that I think, you know, popular YouTube channels can learn from, um, you know, like maybe just downgrading these kinds of things, like I've mentioned, I think would, would, um, would actually be probably a benefit to them. Um, maybe not depending, uh, but, uh, but those are just the things that bother me. Um, I'm sure there's definitely others that you can think of. I'd be more than happy to hear what you find that is really bad about YouTube. <laughs> uh, but I personally overall enjoy YouTube as a whole. Um, yes, it has its problems. Uh, yes, there are some channels out there that I don't particularly care for. And again, the one the kinds of things that are that I've mentioned are really what sort of determine the likability that I have for a channel. Um, but yeah, I think that's really all I can say uh, when it comes to this particular topic. But I'd be more than happy to hear what other people have to say about this. So yeah, I think that's really all I can say though for this video. If there are any questions, comments, concerns, I'd be more than happy to answer them. But uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a pleasant day, week, month, and year. And I hope to see you on the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.